A small shift of this ladder can turn catastrophic in a matter of seconds. Navigating this path safely is the responsibility of Everest climbing guides, many of whom are ethnic Shirpas who earn four to ten thousand dollars per climb. But usually, these guides can count on only one expedition per year. The job is one of the most dangerous in the world. <laughs> And while 2023 saw the most climbers on record, it also saw the most deaths. 332 people have been lost to Everest in the last century. Over a third of them were mountain guides. It's 2 a.m. at base camp, and Furba Wangchu Shirpa is leading a team of guides and climbers up the world's tallest mountain. आइले चाहिँ म हिसाब गर्दा खेरि 48 पुगे अझै दुई दिन वर्ष सम्म चाहिँ एभरेज नै चढ्ने चाहिँ मेरो आशा छु फुटबल वंगचु हैज टचड एभरेस्ट्स पीक 14 टाइम्स अलरेडी पहिले चोटी चढ्दा खेरि त अनुभव त के हो के हो माथि पुग्दा खेरि त आफ्नो सबै परिवारहरु आफ्नो साथीहरुले पनि सबै बिर्सिन सक्ने कस्तो अब अब तल ताराहरु सबै माथि समेनबाट तल हेर्दा खेरि ताराहरु दिया मारे माथि जिल्क आउने देख्यो धेरै जमिनमा तल मुनि के के हो के हो त्यो बेल त अब खुशीले हो कि न केले हो दुखले हो अब धेरै नै उ भयो उत्साह भयो खुशी भयो बनु न He begins every climb with a puja ceremony, praying for safe passage and paying respect to the mountain. Even with his success rate, he never underestimates the deadly risks. Yeni puja gari ko thoma na abo hamile je ban nai abo hami zanu banna gari dosu baler hami ekdom shanti hos, ekdom suraksha hos banar je ekdom hami ugasu. Tis madan tabar anumati baer ba anu baer dani. Over the next several weeks, this group of 16 will climb for hours on end in total darkness, face the threat of avalanches and storms, and cross deadly passageways. Purva Wangchu and his team of experienced guides are their best chance of making it to the summit and surviving. It gives you a lot of confidence. You know, when your Sherpa has 15, 16 summits, like some of these Sherpas here, when you're at high altitude and you're in those situations and they tell you, you know, it's okay, it's going to be okay. It's very reassuring that they've summited so many times. It's more than just mentally reassuring. On the mountain, the choices guides make directly affect whether a climber lives. The next morning, another group of climbers is gearing up for its expedition. It takes a bit of time, you know, to put it, but it saves your foot on the minus 30 or 50 sometimes. Near base camp, at 5,364 meters, climbing guides lead a vital training course. Without this refresher, climbers won't know how to work with their specific expedition team. The guides are using the limited time they have today to review how best to handle steep inclines and to teach this team how to problem solve on the spot. The course is one of the services included in a mountain guide's cost. Guides only work with experienced high-altitude mountaineers, a requirement of the Nepalese government. 
But that doesn't mean the climbers are ready to brave Everest's extreme climate yet. I think if you are talking about high altitude mountaineering, it's important to do this, you know, at least every six months. It keeps your body ready for, I think, lack of oxygen. I came here by helicopter, which is not probably, it was not the best idea. So the first day was quite hard. It'll be Ismail's second attempt at summiting Everest. He confronted the danger that awaits his new team over a decade ago. We almost reached uh, 8,500, but because of the very unfavorable weather conditions had to return. So the summit was very close. So after 11 years, I'm back. Ismail averted catastrophe in his first summit attempt, but not everyone is so lucky. When climbers are critically injured, guides have to be prepared to switch an expedition to a rescue and provide emergency relief. In May 2023, a team of Sherpa guides rescued a climber from Everest's death zone. Over the course of six hours, the guides carried him on their backs down to Camp 3. Since the 2019 season, as a safety measure, Nepal has required every climber to be accompanied by at least one climbing guide. And choosing a local guide has its distinct benefits on Everest. Many of these mountain guides are Shirpas, an ethnic group native to the slopes of Mount Everest. The conquering team was composed of 20 Americans aided by Sherpa tribesmen who acted as carriers. Though the term Shirpa is informally used as a catch-all for Everest guides, the Shirpa people have been closely involved in mountaineering here since the very first Everest expeditions. Their tissues use oxygen more efficiently and preserve muscle energy better than people from lowlands. That's one of the reasons Shirpa guides can assist their climbers with heavy loads without risking as much physical strain. I've got a very good Sherpa, um, you know, and he carries, he carries um, a lot. So about 10 kg I would carry, but they would carry three times that. And it's indispensable, especially here at the Kumbu Icefall, where three Sherpas lost their lives in 2023. At an elevation of 5,486 meters, the team slowly makes its way through shifting glaciers. The group is also relying on the work that locals known as Icefall Doctors did months earlier. These specialised climbers establish the safest route to the top of Everest every season. A separate fee of $600 per expedition member goes to these Icefall Doctors to use the ladders and ropes they set up. But even with a clear path, climbers are still in danger of crevasses opening and closing, and even unexpected avalanches. Barse pichhe ne abo iti ramro ramro shet paaro hi malma bidhiya ko chanti us soz da kirta abo apu puni abo yesto hi malma ta kina garne abne saathi aru kuch jan gumai re ko chan tis ma dheri dukha lagsa tar aun upon karta bele ni phiri aun upon ne abos na hoti. Considering the danger, it's no surprise that mountain guides are one of the biggest expenses in summiting Everest. Climbers pay as much as $100,000 for the expedition and a chance at standing at the top of the world. For each of these climbs, guides certified by the International Federation of Mountain Guides Associations 
can charge agencies $10,000. Less experienced climbing guides make only $4,000 per climb. The agency Furuba Wangchu works with, Makalu Adventure, says it pays guides an additional $1,500 for every successful summit. I think it's okay for, for what it is. Um, it's okay and, you know, the Nepalese government have to make money from it. The Sherpas have to, have to make money and, you know, it would be an insult, I think, if we would just come and, and pay hardly anything and, and summit the mountain. The majority of summits occur in the spring season, so most guides are hired for only one expedition, limiting their yearly income. Furba Wangchu says guides don't see enough money to justify continuously risking their lives. <laughs> Guides also have to pay for their own gear, an investment of as much as $7,000. That includes clothing, boots and backpacks that must withstand extreme conditions on the mountain. The downsuit alone can cost $2,000 and some gear needs to be replaced every few years. Oftentimes, working as a guide in the increasingly commercialized Everest industry comes out of necessity. mountain <laughs> To stay afloat, Furba Wangchu takes on other work. This is common for many local guides who struggle to make ends meet from a job that routinely puts their life in danger. That's one of the reasons Dawa Geljin Shidba quit his career as a climbing guide. Like Dawa Geljin, Furwa Wangchu openly questions whether the risks are really worth it. And he thinks it's a question more Sherpa guides will ask. If Furwa Wangchu is right, a declining number of expert mountain guides will coincide with the growing Everest tourism industry. In spring 2023, Nepal issued a record number of 478 permits to summit Mount Everest. This broke the record set two years earlier when it issued 409 permits. But as the industry grows, so too does the frequency of fatalities. Spring 2023 saw 18 deaths, 15 confirmed and 3 presumed, making it the deadliest season for climbers on Everest. Six of those lost were Sherpa guides. At the same time, Nepal is seeing a growing job market, with locals increasingly choosing other professions. <laughs> Education 
स्कूल राम भाव में पढ़ाए पे तब बिस्तर भी चढ़ते क्या तब एवरेज चढ़ कम हो आपने जान को नहीं मैं पैसा मत ठूल तो क्या आपने जान को हे बड़े नहीं The rising death toll on Everest has put more pressure on the Nepalese government to manage tourism on the mountain. In 2025, it plans to increase the price of climbing permits for foreigners to $15,000, up from $11,000. The government says the salaries of high altitude guides and workers will also increase. This could be a beacon of hope for some younger locals who still see a future in being a mountain guide, like Shashant Nachirring Rai. Climber, I'm a guide, 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 Unlike Furba Wangchu, Shashant is able to pursue his education. Still, the mountain compels him. But the truth is that the future for guides on Everest is unclear. Abadi mein aur chhod chhod mein jo jo kama jee mulla kundi na. Kine ki maile yo yo chhatar mein kama ko paisa ne chhod chhodi ko yo education lagi. Sabhi maile tei pakaye. Tei ta garba ko purata ho abo tei ta ni koi. इच्छा पड़े पता हो 